In the vast silence of space, the Arecibo Observatory stood as a beacon of human curiosity. In 1974, under a starry Puerto Rican sky, its giant dish detected an anomaly, faint but rhythmic radio pulses. Scientists, hunched over analog printouts, noted irregularities in the data. This was no ordinary cosmic noise. It was the first hint of a pulsar, a rapidly spinning neutron star emitting beams of radiation like a celestial lighthouse. The discovery would redefine our understanding of the universe. The team at Arecibo soon realized the pulses were no glitch. Each burst arrived with precision, 1.337 seconds apart. This was PSR B1913 plus 16, the first binary pulsar, orbiting an unseen companion. The pulsar spin, faster than a kitchen blender, sent beams across space. But the real shock? Its orbit was decaying, dragged by an invisible force, a black hole. Einstein's theory predicted such gravitational waves, but here was proof. The universe had handed science a smoking gun. Further analysis revealed the pulsar's dance with death. The black hole's gravity warped spacetime, bending the pulsar's radio waves into Einstein rings. As the neutron star spun, its pulses flickered, tugged by the invisible monster's pull. Calculations showed the black hole weighed 40,000 times our sun. This cosmic duo confirmed a radical idea. Black holes and pulsars could coexist, their partnership emitting gravitational ripples. Arecibo had uncovered a new law of celestial mechanics. The discovery rippled through science. Newspapers declared, Einstein vindicated as Hulse and Taylor later won the Nobel Prize for proving gravitational waves. Arecibo's data showed the universe was alive with such pairs. Neutron stars circling black holes, their deaths broadcasting secrets. Though the telescope collapsed in 2020, its legacy endures. Every fast radio burst studied today traces back to that 1974 night, when a faint pulse revealed a black hole's lullaby.